Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an AMX M4 Mini 51. It's a tier 9 French heavy tank and it's located on the northwest spawn of fjords under the command of Tanker 3331. Now just waiting for the countdown to finish and battle will commence. Okay, we're away. Now this tank is based on the AMX version of the M4 tank, um, designed in 1951. It's been through several iterations since. It's not the same as the um, original American M4. It's quite different, but uh, shares some of the heritage. Now it comes with two different guns, either a 120mm or a 127mm gun, both tier 10 guns. And you need to see exactly what the AP, uh, the uh, alpha damage is to know which one he's got. Well, he's got the 120, and that's got alpha damage of 400. Now, if I remember correctly, the uh, 127mm has a bit more. I think it's something like about 490. But anyway, 120mm, 400 alpha, that's certainly very good for tier 9. Now, we've seen replays from Tanker 3331 before. And some of them are pretty good. And uh, he's got an enemy ahead of him. Okay, so we see 11114. Reload time 9.45 seconds, which is quite long. But uh, it's on a par with some of the other enemy tanks. Oh, now there's a Lerba. Shot down that uh, dip. I think he's going to try and use the bank against us and uh, his gun depression to try and get shots on us. Now this is a very good defensive position, this rock. Go for the low plate. Yes, nice one, 360, it's a low roll, but look at, he bounced around from the 1-4. And we're loaded. And we've just got the top of the Lerva's turret. I think the 1-4 makes a better tar target because we can see the Capola. And yes, and he put a round for it for 355, which is a low roll, but still very good. And another bounce round from the Lerva. 320. He bounced 810 so far. And unfortunately, that one didn't penetrate the 1-4. Let's wait for the reload. And it's completed. Okay, now we've got a 110 on our side. He can act as distraction by going a little lower and occupying the Lerva whilst we deal with the 1-4. In fact, actually, it looks like Tanker 3331 is going to have a go at the Lerva. And a nice one through the lower plate. 390. And we've bounced around from the Lerva again. Okay, he's just shaking to try and get his aim on target. I do that as well, uh, I must admit. I think a lot of players do. They're trying to get their aim on, so it's true. Oh, look at where he got the round through the lower plate before. You can see a gigantic hole on the right side of the lower plate of that wizzy. And he's going to take at least two shots to take out that wizzy. But there's one of them. He's now one shot for either the 110 or for tanker. And I think he's going to take him. Yes! Nice kill! He did most of the work on that one, and he's now got 1.6k of damage. That Lerva's a bit isolated now, and he's a bit in danger. Let's see what we can do to him. No, that one didn't go through. I think he aimed for the turret and, uh, on the rounded side, and that's one of the best attributes of the Lerva. That rounded turret actually helps to bounce rounds. So the top of the turret, though, that tends not to, and oh, he didn't get it through. The shell is now lodged in the armor. You can see where a round's gone through the magnet on that one, which is quite unusual. That one went through. Only 11 hit points, but it's a kill. Now, bounce one there. Oh, we've got a pair of KD-5s. Now, this is a premium tank that's been on sale recently. But, of course, as you all know, the weak spot is that Dalek out front. It is rather, well, R2-D2, not a Dalek. Well, you can call it either, but it's a rather obvious weak spot. You just aim for that, and you can put a round straight through them. And it's a high roll there, and we're nicely side-scraping. We've got the IS-3 for support, 
so we can keep going and yep number one that kv5 is now one shot is three's just take it oh no the 110 got him so we're pushing the other kv3 kv5 round we go again oh hit the rock that one was unfortunately he fired just as he pulled back and he didn't get it on target and there's a lorraine somewhere up ahead of us um probably in those trees firing at us which is an unusual position but an alternative position for Artie. we bounced rounds from the kv5 the armor on the MX M4 board 51 is pretty good. Going for the Darnik, yep. And he got a ram damage as well. But that KV-5 is still a two shot. But we're now pushing him. Easy to go for the Dalek. Yep, got him there. And he's now one shot. Going for the Capola? No, go Dalek. Oh, no, he wants Capola. <laughs> he got turret instead. <laughs> Third kill. Whichever way uh, floats your boat, that's the way to say it. <laughs> it's a nice and English saying, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that one worked. So we're moving. We've got a T10 there in the in the dip. Now, he's holding up some of our team. There's also some enemy further up on that hill. So from here, oh, what have we got here? TVPBTU, one shot and he's gone. So that's four kills. Now, can we get this T10? It would so be nice if we could free up the guys who are in the past to come up uh, this way. And we've got him side on. Nice shot. A high roll. 460. Using standard AP. IS3 just always on fire. Nice one there. Very good shot. Low roll though, but it's only just a low roll. The 110's going in. I think he senses the kill. It would be a high roll if we got a kill. No, we didn't. But it's only four hit points. You could ram kill that T10 now. And... Oh, the 110's gone in for it. And in fact, actually, it's the SU-130 PM who took the kill. But the enemy is now down to just two tanks. And we've got a potential high caliber on the cards. So Tanker 3331 is headed for his next victim. We've got a T55A right up on top near the rail, air, aerial mask, and he might be able to shoot at us from where he is right now. Uh, a bit concerned about that, but um, the SU-130 is going up there to try and kill him, and he's low on hit points. But we've got a Yag Tiger just around the side of those houses. Can we get the shot into his side? Yes! He just gave us that one. And uh, if we go around these houses here, we can shoot him in the ass, do a Klaus Kellerman on him. Here we go. Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> he got behind the houses before we could shoot. Now, can we get him? Oh, he's running. He's running. Come back. We have a suppository for you. <laughs> it's a steel suppository. There you are. One in the ass. <laughs> Klaus Kellerman style. And the Yag Tiger is down, and that's the end of the game. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. I know I joke about Klaus Kellerman, but he is really, really funny. Um, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker from Tanker 3231 in the MXM4 Mini 51. He also managed to get his first mark of excellence during that game. Oh, congratulations on that. A bruiser medal, a duelist, a fighter badge, a fire for effect, and a shell proof from that game. Uh, didn't get Top Gun, unfortunately, but he was close. Got a cool headed for surviving 10 ricochets, non penetration shots in a row. A steel wall for blocking the most damage in the battle, and the high caliber for doing the most damage in the battle. That's very nice indeed. So let's have a look at team score. There you go, right at the top of the table, 6,393 hit points to Tanker 3331. He also managed to get the highest number of kills, four on his team, but he was beaten by the T-55A, the reward tank, who managed to get five kills overall in the battle. That was the enemy one. Uh, and when it came to base XP, he got the highest on that. So he didn't get all of the top of the table, but he got all of the top of the table on his own team. 1,436 base experience points, which is a very high score indeed. So no wonder he earned that ace. Uh, the 110 managed to get 971 and the T-54 first prototype got 868. Let's have a look at detail. He fired 26 shots in that game. He got 21 direct hits and 18 penetrations. 
damage of 6,393 hit points, and all of it was at close range. He received 18 hits from the enemy. Two of them were penetrations, 15 non-penetrations. Just the armor on this tank is very, very good indeed. He also received one hit as a result of splash damage. Block damage of 4,870 hit points. Oh my gum, he certainly earned that steel wall, didn't he? And spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged seven of the enemy, killed four of them, and did damage assistance of 681 hit points. Uh, he received 57,122 credits on a standard account, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, and remember, he hardly used any premium ammo at all in that game, he came out with a profit of 9,563 credits. If he'd actually had a premium account, he would have earned 38,000. So it just goes to show how well he did. On the uh, XP side, he earned base XP of 1,436. He got 718 because he was running premium uh, personal reserves bonus at the same time. So he took, took away 2,154 experience points altogether. So congratulations on your first mark. And I'm sure you enjoyed that battle because it, it really did play to your skill. And uh, you could see how, how nice it was to not only punish that uh, Wizzy 1.11.1.4, uh, and the Lerva for that matter, but it was just, it was so nice to be able to pen the KB-5 easily, and uh, well, good battle, so uh, AMX M4, Mini-51, good tank. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video. Oh, by the way, uh, we do have uh, recommended channels for you to see. We're putting these on the end screen now so everyone can see uh, who is affiliated with uh, What Are T Noobs. And uh, uh, do, you know, pop around and have a look at some of those playlists on the tanks and also maybe uh, visit some of the other channels because uh, there's some really good um, um, video producers out there. So if you enjoyed that battle, have a great time. Thanks.